All right, so we have to prove that this language, which is all the strings of the form 0 to the m, 1 to the n, where m over n is an integer. So here this is just saying that the number of zeros is a multiple of the number of ones. So as an example, if we have, let's say, six zeros, then I can have three ones because uh, six over three is two, so that's an integer. But if I struck one of those zeros out, then this thing would not, that string would not be in L because five over three is not an integer. And I wanna show that this thing is not regular. So let's suppose that it is. So suppose that L were regular then that means that there's a pumping constant P for L. So let's go ahead with that. So there exists a P for L. I'm, again, I'm uh, shorthanding this. Okay, so then now we gotta pick a string that's in the language and of length at least P. So, and we, we also have, to, of course, we need to have the number of zeros divided by the number of ones being an integer. In other words, the number of zeros is a multiple of the number of ones. So let's go ahead and choose a string and this string will not be useful for us, but I just wanna show it anyway to give you the idea. So uh, here, let's pick a look at this string. So we definitely have at least P characters because there are three P characters here. And this thing is in L because uh, 2p divided by p is 2, and that's an integer. So why would this string not be a good choice? So let's think about what happens. What we want to do is we want to pump this string so that we get into, um, that we get a string that is not in L. So in other words, the number of zeros is not a multiple of the number of ones. But in order to do that, we have to pump in the zero part because that's one of the conditions of the pumping lemma. So if I increase the number of zeros, then it might be that we increase it by p zeros every single time. And that is a valid decomposition of, the, of this string according to the rules. So it could be that we, we can have any number times p over here and p over here and we'll never escape the language there because um, m over n is not an integer. It is always an integer there because we have one p over here and some integer times p over here. If you pump downward, you may think, okay, that's fine because we're going down here and it's not twice as much. It could be that we take away p characters here. And so we'll have zero to the p, one to the p, and uh, that will not help us very much. So uh, there are actually two routes we can go. So one route is we can just pick zero to the p one to the p and then pump down. Uh, but the problem is that um, uh, if we tried to do, let's, let's just say we tried to do that. Um, then what would happen is, what if we had the decomposition where we took away p characters? So the, the x and y bit, the first two parts, it occupied all of these zeros right here. Then what would happen is, that if we took away all p of those characters, which we're allowed to do when pumping down, it might be that we have zero zeros there. And so this fraction will be, will be zero. And that's not really allowed. Uh, oh, sorry, that is allowed according to the language, but it's not the conclusion we wanted. We wanted to have something that is not an integer. So this idea will not help us. However, what if we did this? What if we said, okay, let's pick some other fraction. Let's, we gotta pick a fraction for which um, it, it is an integer when uh, dividing here at the start, but we will end up in something that is not an integer. So let's pick, let's say 3p here and 2p here. Oh, uh, sorry, 4p, 4p, that's what I wanted. So then let's see. Uh, let's look at all decompositions now. So look at all decompositions of W into X, Y, and Z. 
Well, since x and y are at most p characters, and the first p characters are all zeros, we know that the x and the y bit are some number of zeros only. Let's call them alpha and beta as the number of zeros. And z is the rest, which I'm not going to bother writing down. So then we need to choose an i such that x, y to the i, z is not in L. Okay, well, it's pretty clear. Uh, well, actually, no, it's not so clear. So we got to pick an i for which is not in the language. So let's actually look at this string x, y to the i, z. So that's 0 to the alpha, 0 to the i beta, and I'm going to put down what z actually would have been. So it, it would be 4p, because that's what we started with, minus alpha, minus i beta. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's right. It's, it's, it's not i beta. Sorry. It's 4p minus alpha minus beta because that's what the y part had. I really should have done that. And then we have a 1 to the 2p there. So then let's, let's, sh let's shrink down all of the zeros here. So the alphas get killed off. So I'm going to have 4p plus i minus 1 times beta because that's how many betas I have and then 1 to the 2p. So it's very obvious that this thing is in the language if and only if the, the um, number of zeros is a multiple of the number of ones. So 4p plus i minus 1 times beta over 2p is an integer. Okay, that, that's the only way it could possibly be in there. So let's actually substitute a value in. So let, let's put in, let's say, i equal to 2. We can't put 1 because that's what the original string was, and that's in the language, so we can't prove it's not in the language if we choose i equal 1. So let's look at i equal to 2. So that's 4p plus beta over 2p. Um, but if we look at this, we know uh, from the pumping lemma statement that beta itself is between uh, 1 and p. So uh, where, the, where this comes from the actual statement, the one of the um, um, things that we need, uh, that the part that we pump is not empty, and this part says that the first two pieces have length at most p in total, and so that's where this comes from. So here, the only way that this could really be an integer is if p if beta is equal to 2p because it can't be 0 according to this and so the next higher point would be 2p for beta because then this would reduce to 3 if beta was 0 this is 2 and there's no number in between 2 and 3 so therefore if we pick i equal to 2 no matter what beta is this thing is not an integer and so therefore uh, we are not in the language as a result of that. If you pump down, so if we like chose i equal to zero, that also would work. We would have 4p minus beta, and the only way that that could be an integer is if we had 2p upstairs, which means that beta would also have to be 2p, and that's just impossible according to this. So that is a quick proof to show that this language is not regular. The key to understanding this is that you, you have to be able to think about whether or not the string makes sense. So the 2p, 1 to the p example seemed reasonable until you thought about, okay, all the decompositions, have got to handle all of them, including the ones where the length of y is equal to p, and that's where the problem arose in that case. Here, the gaps between where uh, the left side divided by the right one is an integer are much wider. And so that's why uh, this allows us to escape the language, whereas before they were short enough to allow us to stay within the language. So this language is not regular.